Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the sweet name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to this victorious and joyful daily devotion. Today's topic, a new creation. Always new things, new experience, new or fresh news brings joy, excitement and wonder. There is a saying, as today's newspaper is today's waste paper. People want fresh news and not stale. As you all know, SSC exam results have been out in our state yesterday and few days back in Andhra Pradesh. I always love young children who show the desire to study hard and excel in their studies. I'm glad many whom I know have not just passed but excelled. Praise Jesus. Now their career takes a new twist, transition from school atmosphere to a new exciting college environment where there is of course more freedom comparatively from schooling. No more same old teachers, no more homework, but new lecturers, new friends, different campus, no more school uniform. Well, I am an ardent uh, reader of Hindu newspaper right from my high school days. As we all know, it is known for its sound and excellent literature. I used to eagerly wait for Sunday Hindu newspaper and read it with so much of pleasure, the inspiring topics they publish on Sundays, penned by renowned authors. And I find so many new words while they narrate their experiences. I used to write those difficult new words with the sentences and check the meanings and note them in my diary. For me, at that time, new words, new excitement. Well, I know a person, a college friend of mine, who found pleasure in his first new experiment in life with alcohol. To please his friend, he took it once, a new experience indeed, but he became an addict to alcohol soon and his liver and kidneys too have been damaged and today he is unable to walk. What I am trying to say is every new experiment experience has to be evaluated before we take up. I was about to experiment the world in the pleasures of the world. At that time, there was a united VBS of all churches. No VBS in all different churches, but all churches put together. The united VBS was conducted in the Twin Cities. At that time, there was the united VBS quiz. And I stood second. And one from Secretary Methodist Church stood first. Coming back to late teenage excitement, as I said, I was contemplating to put my ideas into action to experiment with the world. Just then, my new found VBS friends from Methodist Church invited me to attend the Youth for Christ YFC camp during the second week of October 1981. During that time, a very dedicated and gifted person, Christopher David Uncle, was the director of YFC along with a loving FC auntie, his dear wife. I went to the camp for a fun. I never knew anybody. I was an introvert and a conservative too. To cut it short, on the last day during the campfire, it was a call of the Lord. You know campfire. No lights, fortunately, is it not? Only fire in the middle. And as I said, I was shy, nervous and an introvert person. Not at all good in English. Many young boys and girls stood up one after the other and went to the mic and shared their first experience. There were two voices within me. One voice says, don't go, you cannot stand before everyone, you cannot speak. But something in me pulled me and I was led to go and put the paper in the fire and shared for the first time in the mic inviting Christ. We are supposed to write all our favorite things and sins and write it and put it in the fire and then share our commitment. All things, all friends, all habits, all lifestyle has passed away. 
it gave me no more pleasure but new friends new habits new lifestyle and the desire to move away from the things of the world and to become more holier has been my pleasure and that has been rooted within that new encounter is known as what i am trying to share in this topic is the new creation you will move away from places that will destroy you you will move away from friends that will take you to wrong path and destruction this is called a new creation in christ because all things are passed away help all those who lord who have never experienced the new experience in christ be it children young or old to have the divine experience to have a fulfilling joyful and peaceful life and more importantly everlasting life in jesus sweet and wonderful name we pray amen thank you for listening to today's devotional god bless you have a blessed day and always remember jesus loves you and cares for you Thank you.